I'm Jaden. I'm Harry. I'm Yohan. And this is our presentation on the North Face for the Consumer Insight module. Within the presentation, I focused on the aspect of attitude and persuasion. In the presentation, I showed slides of the self concept model for North Face. In the presentation, I focused on the slides, lifestyle and values. About the firm. Background information on the North Face. It was originally founded in 1968 as a climbing store by Douglas Tompkins and Susie Tompkins, his wife. Currently, a firm who produced clothing, footwear and outdoor equipment. The North Face continued to grow and succeed, producing top-of-the-range products, ensuring customers are satisfied with not only the quality, but the functional aspects as well. For example, a new item of clothing produced by the North Face called Future Light provides high customer satisfaction through its functionality. For example, it can resist over 200 gallons of water within 60 minutes, therefore keeping individuals dry. This is just one aspect of background information and a product of the North Face which highlights its superiority and its innovative nature. Such competitors of North Face are Berghaus, Patagonia, Nike and Columbia Sportswear. Attitude and persuasion. What is it? At its simplest level, an attitude is made up of what you think, what you feel and what you do. An attitude is a learned predisposition to respond in a consistently favourable or unfavourable manner in relation to some objects. Attitudes are more than just our emotional states or moods. As you can see from the graph on the right, people express their attitudes through brands and products they consume. The USA's North Face customers place high value and a positive attitude towards the firm, highlighting the overall market share of around 36%. It is pretty clear that for North Face, people have one attitude and one attitude only. Individuals desire products purchased not only in the UK, but all around the world, including the USA. Over time, consumers have developed a sense of unity, as well as a multi-purpose use of the product. The brand used to be for climbing and outdoors, whereas now customers more than often purchase items for leisure use. Cognitive dissonance. What is it? It's a state of having an inconsistent belief and behaviour. When a person is confronted with inconsistencies among attitudes or behaviours, they will take action to resolve this dissonance, potentially through changing attitude or modifying their behaviour. Consumers need their beliefs and behaviours to be consistent, therefore any inconsistencies they are presented with will be altered. For example, an individual may have a positive attitude towards Patagonia. However, through recent months, prices have increased dramatically without much increase in quality. This may cause an increase in inconsistency that has been caused through the attitude and behaviour causing a change to occur. Individuals may then become attracted to North Face despite the higher prices due to a specific quality product, illustrating a modification in behaviour. Prices are justified through their immense quality and again reinforced through multiple ad campaigns North Face's ad campaigns highlight how they use innovation to overcome challenges from rivals. They incorporate adventure, passion and excitement which fuels customers to feel unstoppable, alive and fearless. In the slide you can see is the Never Stop Exploring ad which highlights how customers must feel a sense of um, passion and excitement so always try and attempt to do something they don't think they can. Therefore, North Face pushes customers to always want to be the best they can be. For example, customers may feel a sense of attachment to Patagonia. However, over time, North Face has rapidly increased. Through intense media ad campaigns, customers may start to experience inconsistencies within their attitude towards Patagonia. This could be due to a potential lack of innovation and differentiation. With North Face's ads providing a journey to customers, this allows them to want to feel a part of the community and mentally explore the journey. To overcome such dissonance, customers change their behaviour and attitude from liking and advocating Patagonia to becoming a loyal North Face customer. Therefore, Patagonia needs to change up their ads and stop them from being boring to create a sense of adventure and excitement that customers want to grip onto. Now we're moving on to products. North Face have created a product called Future Light, whereas Patagonia have created a product called Torrent Shell. Jackets and jumpers come with multiple ranges of benefits, providing customers with a sense of satisfaction. However, with new jackets and jumpers, better attributes are produced. It makes you question if your current jacket is suitable. This can cause your attitude towards a firm or a brand to be hindered. Customers can then be stuck with an inconsistency in their attitude as they liked one brand before, however they are questioning if they prefer the brand now, based on products. For example, Patagonia brought out a waterproof jacket called Torrent Shell. 
customers may like the product and be satisfied. However, when North Face released their new waterproof uh, jackets, Future Light illustrated Patagonia's inferior nature. It is again highlighted through the slide that customers have left reviews based on Patagonia's product discussing different attributes that they didn't quite like. Therefore, an inconsistency is caused, attitude is affected, the distance is overcome by altering behaviour of now shopping at North Face instead of Patagonia. The ABC model, attitude components. So A is for effect, B is for behaviour and C is for cognition. Customers feel positive towards North Face and makes them happy as functional attributes of the products are always delivered. As they like and enjoy the brand, they frequently pop in stores and actively seek online ads through social media. Therefore, they attract to the firm. Customers know North Face is one of the leading firms in the industry, producing incredible products and further understanding being a customer allows a journey to be started. Overall, the ABC model highlights the interactive nature between knowing, feeling and doing, stating how consumers may go through these components before using the North Face's brand. The self-concept is an aspect of consumer behaviour devised by the sociologist Maurice Rosenberg in 1979. According to Solomon, the concept refers to a belief a person holds about their attributes and how they evaluate these qualities. The self-concept is portrayed by three key elements. One, for consumers to either purchase a product which enables them to hide personal aspects such as purchasing a deserogent. Secondly, the element of it being to maintain or preserve personal aspects. This will be done by purchasing a product such as the same phone as your peers because they all use it and it shows your knowledge being up to date and on trend. The final element of the concept is that of enhancing. This is done through purchasing a product which may enhance one's lifestyle, such as a luxury car or house. Looking further into the concept, North Face is marketed as a high-end brand, producing clothing which is seen to be premium. This enables North Face to be segmented in the enhancing element of self-concept, due to this consumers feel luxurious and lavish when wearing the items of clothing. By looking at the marketing across North Face's YouTube channel, it shows that they want to be viewed as a premium brand by uploading high production value videos showing their latest clothing and campaigns. Especially in the latest campaign for the new jacket Future Light, which Jaden has explained on slide 8, this is complemented by selling North Face in stores such as Selfridges and Harvey Nichols. Another point relative to being luxury and enhancing element, which is North Face have a strong ongoing collaboration with a hype beast label Supreme. This could be acknowledged of having wealth and character. However, it could be shown that North Face is using the maintaining element of the self-concept as consumers can see it as an on-trend brand and their peers may also be wearing it. This will be used to fit in and maintain their social status among friends, family and other. As seen on the North Face website, it shows images of the models smiling whilst wearing the products in order to tap into the need of consumer social comparison. It portrays a positive, healthy lifestyle and imposes that this would be how you felt wearing North Face. This would encourage consumers to purchase North Face, therefore showing how it would be a successful marketing strategy. Patagonia are North Face's main competitors. Here are some similarities from both websites' marketing. The main similarity is that both brands prove heavily seasonal, particularly over the current Christmas period due to the main selling point being jackets and coats. Another similarity is the adventure side to both companies' online message. As you can see from figure 1, it shows a man and a woman playing outdoors in the snow, and also on figure 2, where you can see two young children exploring a woodland area wearing North Face. In figure 3, a screenshot taken from Patagonia's website is friends or family sharing a log cabin experience in a remote woodland area. This also links with the second similarity of adventure. By North Face and Patagonia showing happy, adventure-seeking people, it enables the need of social comparison for consumers, meaning they are more likely wanting to purchase the item of clothing. With regards to the differences, the primary difference between the way North Face and Patagonia have marketed their websites to tailor social comparison working in their favour is that North Face focuses on showing the clothes in action, whereas Patagonia focuses on showing the adventure side of it, as you can see this in figure 3. Self-product congruence shows how consumers have a reality side to their self, whereas they'll purchase products in how they want peers to see them. In 2019, according to Solomon, self-image congruence models suggest that we choose products when their attributes mask some of their aspects for the self. For the actual self, consumers will purchase a bland, everyday jumper, whereas their ideal self, they will purchase a North Face logo jumper. Therefore, North Face used their marketing and communication to target this segment. As you can see from the advertisement, it is tailored to those who want it to be seen as a diverse and ideal self. This works as a successful marketing strategy for North Face because it means when consumers are exposed to the advertisement, they will be more likely wanting to be living on the edge or with adrenaline, meaning they will go purchase their item of clothing with North Face on it. 
For our third section of the um, this assignment, we chose to do lifestyle and values. So the consumer's lifestyle refers to a pattern of consumption that reflects the ways in which they choose to spend money and time. Value is a is a belief about some desirable end state that transcends a specific situation, guides selection of behaviour and are ordered by relative importance. All consumers are different, making their lifestyles and values alter individually and they can be easily grouped together through market segmentation. This market segmentation consists of splitting up, and up the market demographically, psychographically, behaviourally and geographically. But for this assignment, the brand's culture group fluctuates, highlighting a diversification and differentiation incorporated by the North Face. As a result of the price of the jackets, starting at £150 and ending in £800 for the men, it could be suggested that the income and social class of the end user would be that of a high earner and a middle social class. Opposite to the demographic, the psychographic elements are variable and include personality, attitude, lifestyle and interests. Uh, so back in 66 in California, they began as an independent mountaineering store and it has broadened its target range from hikers and outdoor wear to leisure consumers. Through collaborations with the Hypebeast brand Supreme, a new dimension to their identity and psychographic profile for consumers was created, embarking upon the streetwear scene. And in Manchester, they did something called the Pinnacle Project, which was advertised on campaigns uh, on their website and online. Um, this involved the North Face working with JD to accumulate in the traditional climbing aspects and the more modern urban trend. So at this event, um, it helped market effectively to the differing psychographic profiles. So they had a climbing wall and then they also had the uh, grime artist Bugsy Malone. And this shows how they kind of tied together the two um, aspects of their business to um, market effectively, yeah. Uh, as a result of the expansion of their market, growth regarding the revenue has increased for the corporation. And then on to the theory behind, one of the theories behind the lifestyle of value. Um, this is a means and chain model. Um, this enables marketers to understand how the consumer mind works when purchasing a product relative to product attributes and functions and then psychosocial psycho benefits, instrumental and terminal values. And it creates a link between the product and the consumer. So the first three elements of the means and chain model are all about the product and the second is uh, about the consumer. So the fact North Face have incorporated uh, recycled materials and ethically produced down into their products can drive purchases from consumers as they understand the North Face is working to save the environment. This coincides with the current trend of reducing global warming and how the North Face are making themselves as a brand relative to a wider target market. Uh, this creates a feel-good factor when wearing the North Face and boosts self-esteem. So as you can see, they begin with recycled, recycled materials and then it goes on to ethically produced responsible down standards and then warm, comfy and durable apparel. So they're the first three for the um, uh, means and chain model and the second three about the consumer, so the benefit to the consumer. So they'll feel good wearing the North Face and then they want to keep warm and the products are better for the environment and therefore it increases self-esteem. Now slightly different for the um, competitor brand, it follows a similar, it's in a similar fashion because it's the same sort of thing but it's slightly different because kind of goose focus on something else. They focus on the quality of the product rather than the sustainability. So the concrete product attributes, this is something that you can't change about the product or the brand, um, it's high quality uh, down and it's uh, lab laboratory tested. And then abstract product, all materials are responsibly and ethically sourced. And then to the functional side, so it's warm, it's comfy, and it's durable, just like the North Face. And then there's psychosocial consequences to the benefits of the consumer. It's expensive and therefore it increases the social status of the end user and the instrumental values of the consumer. Want to keep warm in kind of use, and the product focuses on the quality of materials. And then finally, the self esteem will increase. However, a real life situation that happened was a uh, Canada goose. Um, there were there was a bit of a scandal regarding animal cruelty, and that caused uproar and uproar and led to question marks over the ethics of the company and if they were doing things for the right reasons. This created a negative brand image, and despite the expense of the product, it was and and the fact it was a high end brand, it impacted upon whether people bought their clothing or not. This has been our presentation on the North Face. I've been Jaden. I've been Harry. I've been Yoan. Thank, Thank you for your time. time. 
Overall, it is clearly highlighted that North Face used multiple marketing strategies which helps to identify current and future customers through a valid insight. Consumer behaviour theory such as attitude and persuasion is evidently so powerful when communicating to consumers as it allows the attitudes and behaviours to be altered in order to suit one's needs. Moreover, lifestyles and values as well as self-concepts again highlight the importance of North Face activities that explores consumers' subconscious as well as their leisure consumptions, in turn affecting how they see or purchase products.